Hello everybody, Scram here, back with another Minecraft video. Guess what we're going to do today? We're going to learn how to build an all-in-one farm. Let's get into it. So, this farm is actually kind of cool. I made it myself, it's my own design, so obviously you guys won't find any flaws in it whatsoever because it's my own design. And you guys will appreciate it in its full glory because it's a godly machine and it is not uh, have any issues at all. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of a joke. But also, I think it actually does work pretty well. Um, the first thing that we're going to look at here is the pumpkin and melon farm, which is right at the front and center of the entire thing. So... The pumpkin and melon farm is just like, you know, a typical auto pumpkin and melon farm. It's only one plant of each because that's only really what fits. You can add more higher up, but I didn't want to go too tall with this build because then it would just be a huge skyscraper. So basically the pumpkin and melon farm is a observer and a piston with a little bit of redstone in the back. It's pretty simple. It's literally just observer sees that grew something. This piston pushes it it breaks it falls into the hoppers goes into the chest and that's the same thing for both of them it's super simple and redstone can go through glass like this so you can have glass here it's actually kind of dope that it can go through glass but that's the first piece of this thing it's not the fastest because we only have one of each but melons are obviously superior to pumpkins the, the pumpkins just grow less quickly than the melons do and the melons drop multiple items instead of just one item like the melon or like the pumpkin zoo but the second piece of this machine or the i guess the third and fourth if you want to count it via each plant but the second piece of this machine is the is the three high growing people so that is the sugarcane and the bamboo the sugarcane uh, has a water area down here uh, that actually goes through this this layer right here and it has water all the way going to the other side because sugarcane needs to grow next to water and the bamboo is sitting over here without water because bamboo doesn't need water so as you can see there is no water in that in that uh, row but uh, it's pretty simple setup super easy to build all you need is a piston behind the piston a block on top of the block redstone and that's pointing into an observer and that's on both sides so super simple setup and what i have under it is a minecart on a rail a hopper minecart on a rail which there's uh, i don't know if you guys can see this but there's hoppers right down there that it runs over to deposit all the items and it just goes in circles and it's super it's honestly super easy um to build the next layer is so like these are a little less automatic and a little more semi-automatic but that's how you can only do with these crops that's like the only thing you can do you can only make them semi-automatic because you can't actually have like a dispenser like dispense seeds which i really think minecraft should like mojang and microsoft should fix I think you should be able to dispense seeds and stuff to make fully automatic um, fully automatic beet farms and wheat farms and stuff. It would be so cool if they could do that, but they don't. But basically what's going on here is you click this button, water bucket, water buckets everything into these hoppers. These hoppers go into this column of hoppers, which goes down and feeds. Let's go to the other side here. It goes down and feeds into the same hopper system that is in right in front of the melons. So it all comes together into one chest, which makes life 10 times easier. It's basically the same thing above it, but with potatoes and carrots, you click the button, water bucket in dispenser. It flows it all into this row of hoppers and it is connected to the hopper system so it's honestly a really easy setup obviously you need some light here and there just in case like the game glitches and stuff um but it's 
honestly a super easy setup you just have to collect stuff at the bottom here every once in a while you have to go up, press the water block buttons it's super simple and this entire thing fits in an eight by eight uh area and the height is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so it's an eight by eight by 16 setup. I probably could make it shorter if I didn't want easy accessibility to everything, but I want easy accessibility to everything. So I could show you guys how to make this beautiful, beautiful build. I honestly really enjoyed this build. It's one of my favorites that I've done so far because it's, it's just really nice to have all your crops in one column like this. Because, like, you know, uh, most of you guys know, like, oh, you have this Minecraft world and you want to build all these separate farms, but you have to spread them out because they all need their own amount of area that they need to be able to build them. But in this setup, you literally have everything all in one. And you just need to come over to this chest. You don't have to sort. You don't have to go back to your inventory system and sort through everything. You can just come in here. It's like, oh, I want potatoes. Oh, I want carrots for breeding pigs. Oh, I want some wheat to breed my cows up. Oh, I need bamboo for scaffolding. Well, you just come into this chest and you have it all right there. And it's super amazing, in my opinion. It's, it's honestly... A really solid build um, if you're gonna build this underground you don't need these signs here because these signs are basically just keeping the water in and I know it's it's kind of cheating to have it this sign here because it's outside of the eight by bl eight block area but it's it's needed because there's nowhere else I could have put that water without messing up the dispensers um, but it, it works really well and I suggest you guys just trying it out. I'm pretty sure I went over everything in here and how to do it. Uh, the bottom's super easy, literally just a dispenser and hoppers over here. So it's, it's honestly a really simple setup and I think you guys should check it out and see if you guys like, like it yourself. All right, that's it. Please subscribe, watch some of my other videos that break down each individual um farm in this setup and go check out my twitch it would be really awesome if you guys were to follow that because i do live i stream every once in a while and you guys can talk to me live comment feedback show your support do whatever you want um like comment subscribe i'm pretty sure i already said subscribe but it would mean a lot to me because that means you guys can come back and see more of my videos and just a comment and will be great. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.